What's up you guys, Carlos Losian T here, bringing you back with another video. This one's kind of different from what I've been doing. This is a little bit of what I do on the side besides, you know, the content that I bring you guys. You know, only a few people know that um, I go to garage sales looking to see if I find anything, anything that is worth reselling on eBay. I used to, I used to sell, um, you know, phones, resell phones on, on eBay. I kind of got off of that because I've been working a lot, but it's summertime. Summertime means garage sales. You would find a lot of good stuff that either works or doesn't work, but you'll find it at a pretty good price. You could kind of also do this with uh, places like Goodwill, Salvation Army, thrift stores. They have uh, pretty good stuff uh, for sale, and you could kind of like dig through that and, 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 and try to resell that. But I kind of like garage sales more because you'll find a lot of diverse stuff. This past weekend, I had my mornings off of work, which uh, enabled me to, to go to some garage sales. I'm here to share with you uh, some of the stuff that I bought. And I'll kind of tell you, you know, around how much I'll be able to sell it, resell it for. This is a dope ass opportunity for anybody who's looking to make some extra some side income. I learned majority of my tactics from Gary Vaynerchuk. He's a fellow. Uh, entrepreneur when he was younger and even still now now that he runs his own company he still you know tries to find time on the weekends uh, to go to garage sales if you like this video like and comment and subscribe and I'll continue to keep on posting some of my um, garage sale hauls that I that I bring everything in here um, I found uh, within two days total hours spent four hours between the two days like two two on each you would find a lot of a dead garage sales like not everyone is a hit but that's why you gotta you know mark them and then and then make your plan your your strategy on which ones you're gonna hit neighborhood garage sales are the best the first one is gonna be uh xbox 360. this one was a, a pretty good deal not only for the price but uh it came with a bundle he 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 had some games with it and he had two controllers um and a charging set i'll show you in a second a halo 4 uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, this is probably going to bring me the most money, uh, and Battlefield 4. For the games, if I, sell them, if I sell them individually, I'll probably get like two or three bucks, probably two for each one. It also comes with uh, the charging set where you could connect two controllers and charge them at the same time. So I still got to do a little bit more research on if I should sell them individually um, or if I should sell it as a bundle. Where I got the Xbox, I also managed to get, I also bundled it up so I got the Xbox. You know everything that you just seen um, plus a pretty nice rug it's brand new and for some reason he had a brand new pack of of low cut uh, black socks a brand new pack um, so I managed to get all three of those items for 30 bucks he originally wanted the Xbox for $30 alone I managed it to get for 25 and then he and I told him to include the other things gave him the whole 30 I'm still doing some research on the Xbox it's in working condition um, I'm still seeing if I should sell it individually. Um, I think I've seen that the Xbox goes around like $25. Um, so there alone I get my money back. But I think if I bundle it up with, with the three games, the two controllers and the charging set, um, I could get around $55 to $60. So that doubles my money on that. So that's good. Next up, uh, I did love this one, this fine. Um, I found a tripod, um, a pretty good length too. It looks pretty durable. Um, I did have an old tripod, but it wasn't even that big. It only goes up to like, I want to say this tall. This one goes about right here. Um, I couldn't tell you the feet. Um, it also comes with the bag, so that's a nice touch. So originally they wanted this one for $5, as you can see. Um, but when I first seen it, it didn't have the headpiece, um, which I managed to get to drop this down from 5 to $1. So I bought it for $1 and I already had a headpiece because I do have, like I said, I did have another tripod. So yeah, $1 for a good tripod. I don't think I'm going to resell this one. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this. Where I found this one at, I also managed to get the, the Steve Jobs book for a quarter. That was pretty fucking dope. I don't really read, um, but I do love Apple and I do respect uh, Steve Jobs to a certain degree. That was a good find for a quarter. Why not? Um, right here at a different garage sale, I managed to get the the season one and two for Seinfeld for a dollar. Seinfeld is my favorite show. 
So once again, I'm, I'm not gonna sell this. I'm gonna keep it, add it to my collection. Next up, I went to a, uh, I found another garage sale where I found this pretty damn good winter jacket. It looks practically brand new. They hardly use it. They said the, the insulation in, in this is pretty good. So it looks like it'll keep you mad warm. So I think I am gonna keep this. Uh, rather than sell it check I can sell it for like $20 but I managed to get this and uh, a couch blanket that I'll show you in a second uh, for $7 for both so I paid like three three fifty for this so I think I'm gonna keep this and just and just have it for the winter because it does look like a good jacket and then this is the the little the little couch throwover blanket that I was talking about it's it's brand new well not brand new I think they use it like once or twice um, it's in, it's in great condition. It looks hardly used, no stains, no nothing. I had found another uh, garage sale. I it was actually a, a state sale, so that means everything in the house was for sale. Um, so that was great. I did a lot of searching. I found this pretty good um, Wilson gym bag. Um, it says a, it says a dollar on it. I got it for fifty cents. Um, so once again, I didn't really look for the resale value for this because I do think I'm gonna keep this. An extra bag is pretty, you know, useful. I might use this for, you know, I don't really go for to the gym, but I could use it for something else. Um, or I could just use it for my next garage here. I could just take this and then throw some stuff in there. So 50 cents for a gym bag, take it. At the same estate sale, I managed to find this, this pretty old Canon camera. Um, I've never seen one this old, you know, in person like that. Um, it, came, it came with its own box. It's called the Canon uh, 110 ED. It also comes with um, this. I believe it's the flash on it. You can put it on. You can mount it on top. It also comes with its own strings. Like I said, it comes with the whole box. So it's a complete set. I did research this. I could look. I could get around from twenty-five to thirty-five dollars on this. I got it for five dollars. So that's great. This is gonna be a really good flip. So. So I got this for five dollars, and then I got the bag for fifty cents, five fifty, same place. All right. So this TV, um, I got this about a week ago at another garage sale. I've been having it for a while. Um, this is a Vizio thirty-two inch smart TV, um, but it was a broken. It's a broken screen. Like the whole screen is broken. It still works. It's fully functional. Like I tried it. You can still see the stuff, the images in the background. Um, it's just that the screen is cracked. Um, they were selling it for 20 I got it for 10 um, So, like I said, I had it for like about a week, a week and a half now. I've done my research. I've tried to see how much it would be to get the screen fixed. Um, I went to a, a TV repair store. They say they don't fix it. Um, I also did some more research online. They said, well, I've been hearing that if the TV is under 48 inches, um, there's really no point of getting it repaired because the the TV panel the actual screen is usually around way more the cost is way more than it would be than to just buy another TV um, so um, on eBay I did some research and I think I could sell it as is broken screen for about $23 um, so right there I already made my money back because I told you I paid $10 for it um, but this is where, where, where you're, you know, you gotta think outside the box. I did a little bit more research and the controller, I mean the remote, excuse me. Um, I did some research and this, this, this remote brand new is worth $20. Um, it's in pretty great condition. Um, it looks, looks practically new. No buttons are, are weared out, weared out or nothing. Um, so I could sell it like new for about 15 bucks. So 15 bucks and then another 20, you know, way over profit on, on this sale. So I'm glad I found this. This is a pretty good, uh, this is a pretty good flip right here. So the last item that I that I'm gonna show you guys is a a pretty good mongoose bike uh, bicycle. Uh, when I found it, it was a uh, it looked like it was you know stored in the garage. It was very dusty. It was very old. Um, it looks in great condition. The only thing was, um, the one who I bought it from was the mom of the house and the bike was her son. The son had cut off 
uh, one of the brake cables for some reason. Um, so at the end, it's kind of loose. She wanted originally six dollars for it. I got it to I got it for two dollars. Um, right after I got the bike, I went straight to this bike store that was nearby. Um, I got the guy to check it out. He said it was an easy fix. All I needed was um, a little bit more wire uh, bolt to bolt it um, onto the bike. Um, he said he said if I do it from if I do it myself, um, it'll cost me around four or five dollars. If I can't find how to fix it, I could bring it into his store and he'll fix it for twenty dollars. Um, so once again, I bought the bike for two dollars. Um, if I do it myself, it'll be an investment of six seven dollars. Um, but if I can't get it myself to if I can't fix it myself um, I have to spend that twenty dollars twenty dollars and the two dollars I spent twenty two dollars investment in the bike um, for, the, for the bike I don't have one I have been looking for a bike so I think I'm gonna just keep it myself um, but once again I bought it for two dollars so a pretty good investment if for some reason I find another bike or if I don't want that bike I'm pretty sure I could sell it for at least ten dollars to twenty dollars um, especially if it's fixed so uh, that was a pretty good uh, steal as well so there you go you guys I'm very excited um, I've been finding a lot of great stuff um, in the past garage sales that I've been going to um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the garage sales that are coming up summer has just begun so that means a lot more to come I do recommend you guys to uh, test it out in your neighborhood see what the stuff you could find for your not only for yourself but maybe you can make a pretty decent profit off of it everybody needs money so all in all um, I got some pretty good flips I'm gonna make a little way over what, what I spent I'm gonna make my money back plus some pretty good profit once again you guys if you like this video please comment down below what do you guys think of the items that I bought um, do you guys have any questions of how I do it uh, I'll definitely help you guys out if you if you did enjoy this video please give a thumbs up uh, subscribe that would be awesome um, and then tell me what you guys would like to see in the other videos. Maybe I'll have a camera next time I go to the garage sale so I can kind of show you how it is. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.